the capital and largest city of the Czech Republic, Prague, has chronic traffic problems. One solution proposed back in the mid-20th century were three large ring roads encircling the city. Even though the first segments were opened in the 70s, as of May 2024, the construction project is still unfinished. In this video, we'll explore the second large Czech unfinished public works project behind the Prague D metro line. We'll look at its history, utility for the city and country, and its future. Before the video starts, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps out a ton. Thanks and on to the video. Ring roads or beltways are not a new concept. Cities all over the world started building them in the early to mid 20th century, reacting to the rise of car traffic. There is no standard size, building standards or definition of a ring road, except the fact that they route traffic around the city rather than through it. Some are built to highway standards, some are not. Most are built in a more circular fashion, but some are built in a more rectangular shape. Although the look, number of lanes and design varies, almost every decent sized city has one, and some cities, like Houston, Texas, have multiple. They fulfill a crucial role in urban transportation, routing road traffic around cities rather than through their cores. In a few cities around the world, like Berlin, Germany or London, UK, there are classic ring roads as well as circular rail lines, namely the Ringbahn in Berlin and the Circle Line in London. Ring roads often serve as de facto boundaries between cities and their suburbs. One city where this is really noticeable is Paris, France. The Boulevard Périphérique, as it's called, consists of multiple rings around the city. The inner city and the suburbs are separated by the first ring. On the inside, there's the city proper, whereas on the outside, there are the numerous suburbs of the French capital. Two such ring roads are located in my home city of Prague, Czech Republic. Even though they have been under construction for over 40 years, they're still under construction. Let's take a closer look at them now. Prague has two ring roads, the Městský okruh, or City Loop, and the Pražský okruh, or Prague Loop, both of which are unfinished. From now on, I will use the Czech names for the roads, Městský okruh for the inner ring, and Pražský okruh for the outer ring. The history of these two roads is also quite interesting, in my opinion. But for that, we need to take a quick history lesson. This is the building of Český rozhlas, known in English as Czech Radio, the public service broadcaster, which broadcasts its programming throughout the whole country and even internationally, is headquartered in this building. While it may look inconspicuous today, this building was one of the main targets of the 1968 Warsaw Pact invasion of Czechoslovakia. This invasion replaced the previous period of liberalization in the country and signaled the return of harsh, totalitarian communism. This period of Czechoslovak history is called Normalizace. In the period of Normalizace, the government wanted to placate the people with numerous measures. One of these measures included massive investment in infrastructure, like our previously mentioned ring roads. The bedrock of this ring road plan was a proposal called Zákos. ZAKOS, an acronym for Základní komunikační systém, or Basic Road System, was a grand plan for the introduction of highways right in and around Prague, as well as wide roads feeding into them. The plan proposed three ring roads for the city, one around the immediate center, one around the inner parts of the city, which is today Sněský okruh, and one around the perimeter, which is today Spražský okruh. Even though this plan was approved way back in 1974, only a part of it stands completed in May 2024. The first loop, now incorporated into the second ring, was never completed. The second and third loops started construction in the 70s and 80s respectively. The first segments of the Městský okruh were opened in the 70s, while the first segment of the Pražský okruh was opened in 1983. Over the years, the loops have been gradually built, but key parts of them are still missing as of now. Because of this, Lots of traffic that would have otherwise avoided going into Prague still goes through the city, most notably through the Severojižní Magistrála, a long car sewer cutting straight through the middle of the city. Now, I could continue talking about the roads in the comfort of my room, but I think that traveling down them is a better idea. The Městský okruh consists of multiple parts, but the most important and notable part is this the Blanca tunnel system, leading under the western part of the inner city. It consists of multiple tunnels, 
called Brusnický, Davidský and Bubenečský, with a combined length of 5.5 kilometers or 3.41 miles. The construction of this tunnel system was embroiled in a massive corruption scandal, resulting in a huge cost overrun, long delays and overall political fuckery. The original plan estimated the project to be completed in 2011, but in the end, the tunnel system opened four years later, in 2015. The project's main aim, reducing traffic, didn't really work out either, since induced demand did its thing, and demand for car travel increased with the rise in road capacity. The rest of the ring road is made up of a wide, high-speed road called the Yizhny Spojka, and a road only known by its street name, Průmyslová. The Blanka tunnel system and these two segments are connected to each other by the Barandov bridge and the wide road called Strakonická. Part of the bridge is currently closed due to it being reconstructed. Now, let's look at the Městský okruh's big brother. Much like the aforementioned Městský okruh, the Pražský okruh is mostly completed around the west and south of the city, with the eastern and northern parts still missing. It is built to the standard of regular Czech highways, even carrying the name of D0, keeping up with the naming scheme of Czech highways. The Pražský okruh is significant for the Czech highway network. Lots of highways come out of Prague, and the Pražský okruh serves to connect them to the city and to each other. To make the ring road a reality, the Pražský okruh features multiple grand feats of engineering, all of which are impressive to this day. For example, to complete the ring, the road has to clear the valleys of the Beronka and Vltava rivers in the south of Prague. To achieve this, a gigantic bridge was built over the valleys. On each side of the combined river valleys, there are hilly sections which had to be tunneled through. In the west, another huge bridge had to be built to cross the Litovitsky Potok stream. I would have footage of going down this bridge as well, but my camera died while recording it, so here's a photo instead. In the southern section of the ring, there is one of the largest and most complicated intersections in the whole country, connecting the Pražský okruh to the D4 highway leading to the southwest of the country and to the aforementioned Strakonická road on the first ring road. For a sense of scale, the intersection is larger than the district of Lahovice, located in its shadow, although it's still smaller than the ego of Elon Musk. In conclusion, Prague's ring roads are vital for the city's transport infrastructure, these two roads are one of the busiest roads in the city, carrying hundreds of thousands of cars every day. Both are quite the feats of engineering, especially the Pražský okruh with its numerous long tunnels and massive bridges. In the future, I hope they will be fully completed so that traffic going around Prague can go around it instead of straight through it. Thank you so, so much for watching to the end, you're a real legend. If you'd like to support the channel, I've launched a Ko-Fi page, with numerous membership tiers available, all of which bring you sweet benefits, like early access to my videos. I've also put the links to the equipment I use to make these videos in the description. Any support would be greatly appreciated. I would also like to take this time to thank Monday's last brain cell, who decided to support the channel with the top membership tier. I'm extremely grateful for the support, thank you so, so much. Enjoy the bloopers, this has been Tramley and I'll see you next time, bye. The history of these two roads is also quant- <sighs> Bruh. One of these measures included massive investment in infrastructure, like our previously mentioned- <sighs> mm. The original plan estimated the project to be completed in 2011, but in the end, the tunnel system opened for the- <sighs> Bro, bruh. To make the ring road a reality, the Pražský okruh features multiple- Ah, ah, bruh.